Hi, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Bill Fulton here. I'm the medical director at uh, Center for Venous Disease in Gilbert, Arizona. And today we have a treat for you. We wanted to show you what an ambulatory phlebectomy uh, looks like. Uh, this patient has already had radiofrequency ablation on the greater saphenous and small saphenous veins. And sometimes after you do that, you still have those bulging varicosities that a lot of patients don't like. They aren't allowed, uh, to, they don't feel like they can go out in public with shorts on because they have these, looks like snakes on their legs. And the way you get that really nice cosmetic look is to do what we call an ambulatory phlebectomy. And so we're briefly going to show you how to do that. Uh, if you're queasy, I warn you not to do that. There'll be a little bit of a blood, there'll be some blood, uh, and you're going to get to see a vein. So uh, if that doesn't uh, make you faint, uh, then I encourage you to stay. If, if blood uh, or needles make you faint, I encourage you not to watch this video any further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera pan down to the leg. And what you can see, this is the right uh, calf and shin. And what I've done is I've drawn circles around where the varicosities are located. And uh, what I do is uh, I take a needle, and uh, this is a solution that has lidocaine and uh, um, epinephrine in it with saline. And what I do is I go under the skin. And I've already done a little bit of this so you don't, it's not hurting the patient. And what we do is with the lidocaine and epinephrine, that helps vasoconstrict. So it really decreases the amount of uh, blood loss that you have, which is obviously nice for lots of reasons. We'll put that away. And then the next thing, next thing that we do is we need to make a little incision. And there's these lines that your skin runs in, and we want to make sure that we make the incision in the same direction as those lines so it really minimizes any chance of scarring. So we'll just uh, check for those lines and then we'll make a little incision. I'll ask the patient if he feels this. Do you feel this at all? No. So no, does not feel that. Make a little incision. So very nice, very tiny incision. Obviously we're very careful with our sharps. Our assistant's fantastic. And then we just have this crochet hook and we're just gonna go inside and we're just gonna find the vein. We're seeing some blood there. That was a nice pickup by my assistant. Got a nice little piece there. Oh, that's it right there. Let me just try to get that real quick here. We're doing good. Good job. And so what you can see, the uh, cameraman, just make sure, can you see that? Need to get in a little bit looks lower. like a looks like a snake there see that and then we're just going to grab it again with another hemostat so that's the vein and we're going to just kind of pull on that a little bit looking good we'll give you a better look here in a second yeah that's good nice and just tug in and let me go ahead, go ahead and use make the little now what we like to try to do is we like to try to split that the vein in half. It'll give you a little bit better view of it. So I just take one hemostat, put it on the side, and then we're gonna hemostat the other side. And then we're just gonna cut that right there. Excellent. So that's that's the vein. That's a varicosity. We've got it on two sides. And then what we do is we just pull a little bit. Again, you don't hear the patient screaming. The patient, we doing okay? Yes. He's doing fantastic. And, and really, this is a pretty painless procedure. And we just continue to pull on that, on that vein segment. And again, we're getting, you can, again, you can just see that. That's all vein right there. That's that bulging, scary vein. This gentleman wants to go out in public and show off these fancy legs after we're done. And then we just keep pulling, kind of pull that there, good. And we're going to go ahead and grab another segment here. I'm just going to hold that with my hand again. And so you just kind of, you just kind of pull it out. Uh, the vein kind of slowly, you can see that. That's just a great picture for you about what, what a vein looks like. And that is all vein. You see that just kind of pulling right there that's awesome and obviously once we get that vein out we're not going to have to worry 
This patient will not have to worry about this varicosity causing many trouble. You see a little bit of blood there. Just hold a little bit of pressure. And so that nice will just, uh, is this, uh, is that in the camera? So that we got the vein right there, uh, nice and uh, diseased vein. We've removed that. You can see just a little pressure. There's hardly any uh, bleeding. And so we'll go ahead and come back up to me here. So that's just uh, that's what an ambulatory phlebectomy does. You can see there's virtually no blood loss. Um, it's virtually painless. Um, and what I really like about it is once once those incisions heal, there's no scar, and it really looks great. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, varicose uh, vein uh, disease or venous disease, uh, I encourage you to call us at Center for Venous Disease in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, our phone number is 480-917-7546. Uh, or you can visit us on the web at gilbertmedspa.com. Uh, hope your legs look as good as you'd like them to. Have a great day.